We had a really insightful conversation with a veteran we want to tell you about. We were talking about veterans and suicide and the stigma that stops some people from getting the help they need. Then this veteran brought up an issue she feels is glossed over far too often. What it's like for women veterans trying to get medical help. For a little perspective, here's our Anusha Roy. For six and a half years, Jen Birch served our country in the Air Force. She was a volunteer medic and spent time in Afghanistan. Like I was watching people die every other day. And she came back a changed woman whose daily routine involved PTSD, and she felt herself unraveling. Then in 2013, Birch says she tried to kill herself. And so I take this second opportunity of life to, to help others. Part of that is talking about what it's like for women veterans going to the VA for medical care. When she said this last week, you walk into a VA and sometimes there's cat calls. Or... It stuck with us. A VA spokesman acknowledged in an email some women veterans have been harassed and they're working to increase their trust so they come in for their medical care. That includes rolling out a program at all their facilities with posters, videos and training materials to stop any harassment. Women veterans um, tend to fall behind in health care and mental health care and I know they're trying to improve it but they are they're they're behind the VA said it's made progress in recent years and now provides a variety of health care services for women like maternity gynecology comprehensive primary care and mental health services since 2008 5,800 health care providers have been trained in women's health and more than half of their employees who provide mental health services are women so in that email that we got from the VA, we heard the word now a lot. Now we're providing these services. Now we've made these changes. Well, that's going to be the second part of this story where we're working on taking a closer look at when they started making these changes. And Steve, especially because this conversation started about veterans and suicide from last week, we wanted to take that opportunity and put up the veterans crisis line again for anybody who needs it. Access that 24 seven. Yeah, and when we talk about women here, we're talking about a pretty significant number. Yeah, it is 10% of the the entire veteran population are women. That number goes up, especially in rural parts of the country as well. Yeah, and we know how difficult it is to get folks in rural area health care as well. Yeah, so what the VA is doing now is that they've actually launched a mobile training that they can actually go to these different rural sites, uh, VA rural sites, and try to get the doctors and the staff there. The same training that you would get in a metro area because everyone deserves to have access and a safe place to get their health care. Yeah, it's a conversation we're going to keep having here. Anusha Roy, thank you.